Nigeria. Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Beyond the Game, episode number two, man. We've been waiting for this one for a very long time. Today, we are honored and blessed to have a very special guest, Masati Skudu Makudubela. Welcome, brother. Thank you very much. Yeah. I'm, I'm honored. <laughs> I'm really honored. Very taking off your glasses, I'm honored. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, guys. Thank All you. Right. And before we continue, guys, uh, we'd just like to thank, you know, our sponsor, uh, The Village. Um, it's a place in Hatfield, uh, a bed and breakfast. Uh, so you guys can visit it. I'll put the link in the description below for their social media handles. Yeah, so if, the curfew, if the curfew catches you on the wrong side of Pretoria. Yeah, you just, know, you <laughs> just, just know it. Just come to the village. Just it catches you village. on the wrong side of Pretoria. It's a pretty, pretty dope place. Yeah, <laughs> pretty dope. You can see the city. Yeah. Uh, Skudu, man, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, this this is special for me because I regard you as a brother as well. And I'm sure Friday and Jerry also uh, regard you uh, in, in the same breath. So for people that don't know uh, that don't know you, because I mean, we, we know you. For people that don't know, who's my Um Let me just start off by a lot of people know me as Skudu, yeah. where the name Skudu comes from. Skudu comes from my surname, actually. Makudivel is just a short version of my surname. So, Matlatsi Makudivel, Skudu. Humble boy, who you know, up go. You know what's the thing about people? <laughs> people come to the show and lie and provoke. They just come to the show and <laughs> lie and provoke. <laughs> <laughs> tell the truth, let, let, let him finish. No, the humble. broom must tell the truth. Huh? Friday. Tell the truth. Can I just can I just introduce myself? <laughs> people that don't <laughs> <laughs> Okay, go ahead. Not being interrupted. Go ahead. Go ahead. Scoodoo is a humble <laughs> boy who grew up because she hope look one i'm born and bred because she hope look one yeah my hometown i love the place i love mm. the place you know so yeah you know just like any other kid grew up playing football in the streets big ambitions and yeah here we are now mm. So, but um, I've heard people say, or I've known it in the streets, that you know, Skudu comes from you know your big brother. That that was initially your big well, brother. Well, well, Skudu, mm-hmm. we were. My brother was called Skudu. I was called Skudu Baby. Mm. I, I'm, I'm not a baby anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so you cut you know, the baby part. Yeah, yeah, you know. It's it's Skudu. Yeah, I'm not. It's, it was well. It's just Skudu now. Yeah. And shuffle. Well, shuffle comes from my. You know, playing days then at home, back at home, they used to model my game with shuffle jabu pule. When I was swing, not that I was swinging. You were swinging on the field, on the field of play, on the field of play. So yeah, I think that's where the the name shuffle came. Mm. No, I think we we very interested in your in your story. I mean, uh, you always tell me or you always tell us. I mean, not always tell us, but we know that you've got a big story to tell. Your journey is um, one journey that uh, you know has uh, you know, I think some gems that we can take from it. Mm-hmm. So uh, I don't know where you wanna start. Must we start a school of excellence or? The, uh, well, it's up to you guys. I'm all yours. I'm all yours. Uh, can you I'm take it, Friday? I let's think. let's go. I think let's go to the beginning. Yeah, yeah. to the beginning. Um, you're from Sishio, as you said. Um, how was it growing up in Sishio? I mean, it's it's one of those townships in and around Polokani that has a great great talent you know um, yeah. your likes of Klo Molekwani mm. have been there um, I think Klo Sogolela was from a village just outside um, Polok- uh, Polokwani Sishio and used to play with you guys there, there's a lot of you guys you Vincent Kovodlas you you uh, I think uh what's there was the, the development from Tef man. Yeah, yeah yeah i mean Tef um Loop i think uh, yeah no no it's not Tef Loop. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was Tef Loop school of excellence how was it growing up in that kind of setting in sishio and how do you get to school of excellence um thank you for that question i think um by just listening to you you know one um realizes where they come from you know very competitive um hometown when it comes to football you know the also the the people that my 
my location is produced it's role models you know mm-hmm. growing up as a kid you look up to them Vincent Cobolo like you mentioned uh Tlomulikwani we all know he played for Kaiser Chiefs so these are the people that carry themselves as role models you know mm-hmm. growing up you also want to follow in their footsteps these are the people that I grew up looking up to and that in itself put me not necessarily under pressure but it prepared me to say i need to match the standards if not surpass them mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so it took me as an individual to say okay they've already set a goal they've set the bar so i just need to raise my my uh, just to i just need to raise the bar you see so moving from home to school of excellence um we were playing the transit under 14 that's where i got selected to join 140 boys at the school 120 boys at the school mm. yeah mm. Mm. well screw my brother how's it <laughs> 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 yeah i mean you know you're a man of many talents ne? But what I want to know is... I don't know that, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we, we both know. Right? We'll get to that. We'll yeah, get, yeah, to, we'll that. get, to, that. We'll so get to that. So I want to know what inspired you to to play football and take it seriously? And at what age did you realize that you can make it as a professional footballer? What inspired me is I come from a, a football background family. My father used to be a player, then a coach. Many people don't know that. Mm. coach coach napoleon hey, he, used coach, <laughs> <laughs> he used to coach napoleon golden zebras mm. so my brother used to play he was a very good uh left-footed player mm. those who know but we know left-footed players ne, but we'll get of course the of topic course, for of another course. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, I will yeah. I will mention that at a later stage, but mm-hmm. yeah. So you know, growing up from a a football background family, it 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 motivated me. My father used to you know motivate me. The people back at home, you know, not not forgetting the clubs that I used to play mm-hmm. for. You know, back at home, the coaches that that have coached me. I think they they've contributed much 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 more in my up 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 upbringing, upbringing and yeah. and you know and football development developing me yeah. to greater heights yeah, yeah. Mm. i think yeah yeah uh, skudu we were just talking about uh, something just before you know we started recording now about you know how much knowledge you wish you had gained uh, while uh, still playing uh, in the big leagues uh, in terms of investments uh, and things like that how mm-hmm. important is it for you to for for players right now to to look after or, or to go through and search for that information that's that's a very good one i think you know the mistake that we make is thinking well, knowing that we are going to get a salary at the end of the month, that in itself makes you relax. Mm. It closes, it blocks your mind to say, okay, fine, you know what? One, m- one stream of income is never enough. Mm-hmm. We get to see that at a later stage in football. So what... Is it I, I, I see Fred is looking at me like I jumped the gun here. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not even that. It's It's... It's just that um, the question is framed as though it's a it's a football related question. Like, mm. Mm. is it just football, or is it generally just you and I? I mean, I watched your video, and uh, you know he's a celebrity, yeah. So and <laughs> <laughs> and you 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 yourself spoke about how had it not been for COVID and the risk of of you losing the possibility of. Mm. you losing employment you wouldn't have started you know the the youtube channel you know and and uh, sitting sitting with richard Maremi, um mm. uh the construction side of it um, and beyond the game as well so is it really just a, a football related issue or are many streams of income or do we all just get comfort in 
mm-hmm. knowing that the salary is going to come at the end of the month. And as long as that is not threatened in any way whatsoever, we remain chilled. Well, uh, uh, d- just to to add on what uh, you guys are saying, um, the the difference would come in football is contractual. You sign mm. a contract of a year, mm. you sign a contract of two years, as opposed to somebody who's working a in permanent the, job. Yes, a permanent job. You understand? Mm. Football, you get twenty four months, which is two years. Mm. Mm. In that two years, what would you have done with your money? Mm. Supposed, you know, you understand. Yeah, the money is good in football. I don't know. We don't know. Why are you, why are you looking at us? Tell us. Uh, must I tell people what you do? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. okay, okay, fine. But yeah, you know, if you need the brains mm. on how you're gonna use that money, that money will sustain you after football. We know of players. I know of a player that I spoke to in the recent week. Um. Mandla Masango. Mm. I asked Mandla, he's a good friend of mine. I asked Mandla, I said, Mandla, are you done with football? He said, I'm happy where I am. Had I mm. not taken care of my money when during my playing days, I wouldn't be happy maybe mm. now. Mm. You understand? He's still young. He still got the legs. He can still go five more seasons. But he chose to say, you know what? Has he retired? He doesn't want anything to do with football. That's what he told me. Well, yeah. Mm. Please get Manja here for us. Please get Manja here for us. Yeah, I just wanted to hear the the football perspective of it. I think maybe it's a universal problem, but Mm. the football perspective was what I was looking for. Yeah. Yeah. And um, with regards, just to get to know you more, you know, you're a you're a you're a player that has traveled a lot. You know, you've moved uh, around countries. You've seen different perspective. In countries, Move you know, uh, you've played as well in different countries. How's the perspective for you? How's it changed your perspective <sighs> on life as well? Well, I don't know if that is a blessing or an advantage or what, but for me, that is an advantage because mm. it opened my eyes. Um, I played in and around South Africa. I had the privilege to go play in Europe Mm -hmm. and before going to play in Europe I've encountered a lot of failures like I've been to Europe I've been to okay that one we'll talk about you know (laughs) so I've been to places I've traveled many people in South Africa didn't know I left the country to go and trial while I was still contracted with a club that I'm not gonna mention in mm-hmm. South Africa, I went overseas. Did they let you? What did you run away? <laughs> <laughs> I shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he's living up to the name. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But yeah, it's it's just you know, I've always been the ambitious type of a person. You know, mm. uh, I wanted always to expand my bubble. Mm-hmm. I've had the. It was always my dream to go and play overseas, and I followed the dream. You know. I, I saw it to say a contract is not going to stop me from, you know, following my dream. Mm. If I couldn't make it then, maybe it wasn't the time. But, yeah, it's it's a very good experience, you know, going overseas. Not only to play, to travel and see the world. Mm. But, yeah, it, 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 it increased my, my, my thinking capacity and, you know, getting to know people, the culture. Mm. It's it was a very good experience. Mm. Yeah. Well, Skudu, as a versatile person that you are, do you still think you can give more to to football, whether in South Africa or or overseas or anywhere in the in the world, or are you satisfied with whatever you've achieved in football and looking at other things? Mm. One can never be satisfied. Hey, I'm not done playing. I'm still playing now, mm-hmm. but. If you're asking in terms of the future, maybe give back to football as in like coaching. Uh, well, we, we can never predict the future, and but I'll still like to be involved in the game. And I've got few contacts overseas that mm-hmm. we still keep in touch, you know. And um, they asked me, how's the football in South Africa? They like to come and see this, the, the country. Mm-hmm. They like to bring in players. 
So maybe in the future you'll you'll never know. Maybe open an agency and export players. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to ask if you think you'd make a good coach. <laughs> you probably have ten Robinhos on the field. <laughs> ten Robinhos on the field, no doubt. You have a Ronaldinho playing center back, master. Tiki Taka all the way. Tiki Taka all the way. Um, <laughs> your style, I mean, is quite familiar with. Locally, I mean, I think of your Jabu Pulis, your Junior Kanye, who's of the uh, opinion that you should I'm go hum- to I'm Chiefs. humbled, I'm humbled. That uh, you're of the opinion you should go to Chiefs and um, Brazilian, predominantly Brazilian. Your name mm. is your Ronaldinho, is your Robinho, who somewhere around the world you're known as. Um, who, in your opinion, I, I, we know this, but outside of Ronaldinho, who is your favorite Brazilian player? Firstly, let me say I'm humbled to be modeled with such great players. <laughs> <laughs> but what do you think? What do you well, think? Let, let's have your opinion. I on think it. I'm just ordinary. Just like any other player. There's no way. No, there's no way. <laughs> Come, ah, Come on. No, okay, then I'll leave I, mean, I can even model you to Cristo the Jaguar. Because you... you, you, you I'll put Tom Kulu. I respect that guy very much. He's... We will talk about him one day. Ah, that guy. He posted his. He posted that. You know the advert of the the Coca Cola advert mm. where he juggles the ball. Yeah. Yes. He posted it recently, and I just remembered my childhood he's days. Very, like, he's a, he's it's a, a great. He's a legend. Are you gonna answer that question? Okay, yeah, going to right. Valentine's. <laughs> <laughs> going back to the question. Yeah. Um. I think Neymar. Neymar just stands out to be, well, the greatest mm. in the modern football for me. Mm. But Ronaldinho is my all-time favorite oh. player. Oh. Gaucho. By far. It's out of this world. Sorry. Must I go? Yeah. You can go. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, Scudu, man. You know, when you've played football at the highest level, you have a lot of people that are looking up to you and, you know, you get a lot of people that are, you know, aspire to be, the next Scudu, aspire to be, you know, as good as you are. How did it feel, you know, at some point in your career, coming back home and, you know, and just uh, seeing people appreciate you for playing in the PSL or being the player that you are? You know, it's very humbling. It's very humbling to get the love from the people, you know, in and across the world, I would say, because Mm. coming Mm. back home, people welcomed me with both hands. But being this side, I got a call. There's a South African guy that's playing that side and he said, they were playing a friendly against my former team that I used to play for, FC Gagra, that side. Mm. And just because he was South African, they, they respected him, just mainly because of what I've done that side, mm-hmm. you know? So it's humbling for him to call me and say, hey, Skuru, my man, you were big this side. People always appreciate you when you are normal. Mm. Mm. I left the country. Well, the treatment was good, but I think I'm more meaningful now that I'm this side. Now that you're mm-hmm. gone. Now that day, yeah, you understand. So mm-hmm. it's very humbling as a person to hear such things to say, A, hey, they say my South African guy. <laughs> when you are from South Africa, you're mm-hmm. being respected that's uh, just because of the work that you've done that time. So but it's very humbling coming home, coming back home. The people they welcomed me, you know, you guys giving me interviews. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I, I really appreciate the love and the support from everyone entirely. Um, yep, well, before Richard interrupted me, I wanted to ask Skudu, players like you, like skillful players in South Africa, I think Friday and Rich will agree with me. They're fading away. Why do you think that is happening? Because now we're watching... Boring football. We always hear people talking of uh, the likes of Jao Pule, and like those people, the last play like decade, a decade ago. But we still have players like you who are struggling to find clubs here in South Africa, but they are respected overseas. Why do you think that is happening in our country now? Uh, well, to, 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 to answer that, I wouldn't say football is boring, but the football is evolving every century, I think. Mm. There was an era of Skarangobese, there was an era of Junior Kanye, era of, you know, Michael Ngambule. Those mm. are great Ash, players. Ah, Those are the greatest oh, really? players, yes, that we used to, to watch. 
Mm. Um, not being controversial or anything, I think football goes with the type of style the coach likes first. Mm -hmm. you know, if you get to, just to mention a few that I've worked with, Coach Den Den Malesela, he likes, he's got his, his certain, own style of yeah, play. Yeah, his certain style of play. And then with that certain style of play comes certain special players. Yeah, certain type of players. And exactly. Did, yeah. mm. So then if you want to, Pep Guardiola, mm -hmm. he's got certain type of players that feel they, they suit their, their, uh, his style of play. Mm -hmm. So I think it's just that, that luck of being with the right coach yeah. mm -hmm. at the right time, at the right place. You understand? So, but then, yeah, patience with patience and great faith, things yeah. will fall into place. I think me and Friday also once had a debate uh, at some point about, um, you know, uh, great football uh, being the opposite of winning football. Yes. You know, do you think that's the case that, uh, you know, uh, using mm. players that are skillful and passing the ball around is the opposite of winning football? It's very, f uh, it's very unfortunate that um, football is business more than just a game now, you mm. know? Well, well, then the, this is the game of football. Mm -hmm. There should be an element of enjoyment. This is what you used to bring supporters back then. Entertainment. Mm. A prestidigitators. We need prestidigitators. What's that? <laughs> prestidigitation, or, or, or rather prestidigitator. It fit. means somebody with a particular set of skills. Ah, a modern an football. entertainer. A modern <laughs> you understand? Mm. Ah. We used mm. to watch Barcelona of Iniesta, Xavi, Messi, they used to play around with, with the ball. They used to entertain people and stadiums used to be filled because people, I will tell you, I myself used to go to the stadium to watch a particular player with the team. Yes, mm. I, I support the team, but if that player is on the pitch, then it makes it worthwhile it being it at worthwhile. the stadium. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. People used to come to the stadium because Skarang Gobeza was there. People used to come to the stadium because Junior Kanye is playing. Mm. Yes, they support Chiefs, but when they mention Chiefs, they would mention they have this one. They have this one. Mm. Whereas now football is very hard to, to to mention the players, you know, the special players within the structure of the club. But I guess the debate really stemmed from the issue of what's good football? Isn't, isn't, isn't good, like, when you're good in a particular system, if the system is good, then you, it's winning football. Whether it's appealing to some eyes or not, yeah, yeah. it doesn't, for me, it's good football. Good football is a system that works perfectly for those set of players. Just because to certain people it's not entertaining to the eye or we don't like it that way or you don't prefer that system, um, it doesn't make it not good football. I, I mean, I look, agree. Liverpool doesn't play like Man City. Does Liverpool, does Liverpool play good football? Not now. I mean, now it's a bit no, bad. No. But last season, were they playing good football? And they won trophies. They I, I get winning what you're football. saying. I, I get what you're saying. It, um, Barcelona it, it is it not winning profits. games. Are they playing good football? They're still playing a better tikka taka, maybe different system. No, I get what you're saying. Yeah, the thing is that we we tend to th we tend to think that we don't use these words interchangeably. Uh, yeah. Good football and winning football are not football used are not, inter yes. oh. interchangeably in in the football sphere. Mm. So now you are trying to say that we should use these words interchangeably. Yes. Is yeah. that what you're yeah. trying to say? Yeah. I, I'm saying. There's different models of the game. There are different coaches. This is debatable. We can spend the we whole, day, spend speaking the whole about day speaking there's, about this. There's entertaining football for the English Premier League. There's entertaining yes. football for South Africa, where we go to my money, Piri. Yes. Where we go to, you, yeah. know, you understand, mm. Phillies games. Yeah. And then there's entertain, entertaining football at the professional level, where we get the special crop of players within the structure of the team that makes football entertaining yes then we used to Masha, it's my good well at platinum stars 
Were they playing good football? Yes. They were winning. Uh, are you asking me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> they had Masbusa and Zongo. Ah, where Masbusa yes. is? Yes. And Zongo <laughs> is, <laughs> is good football. Like I said, this this ah, this is yes. debatable. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, uh, Skudu, you you do some uh, some videos, you know, where you know you're dancing with the ball, uh, you're moving with the ball. I also saw um, one recently. Who are you doing it with? Linda. Linda. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. What, 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 how did that come about? Where did you develop that skill? Is that something you enjoy? Well, I think Jerry would know. When we were still at, at the School of Excellence, Beckett School of Excellence, I used to juggle the ball with this. Twins. Yeah, we mm. used to. Ta- it used to be something that we we practice every day. You know, mm. we would take the ball, go to the classes, school mm. classes. You know, and 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 we'll start juggling the ball. <laughs> 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 you know, up until we were recognized by then the program Shona Kona, he would know he went oh, to yeah. Brazil. By the way, this man is big. <laughs> <laughs> <I don't> no. <know. laughs> yeah, <laughs> we were ambassadors of the program. Yeah, yeah. ETV captured us, and then we were on TV, and then from there, the coaches just advised us. You know, even if it doesn't form part of your football on the field play, but you always have that skill. You know, mm, to make something. Yeah, to it. entertain people, and mm. it helps with your control. So yeah, I think we recently done a video with Linda Mklalo. She's now playing in Sweden. She's a very good soccer player also. And mm. Big player. She's a big <laughs> player. I think, I think her achievements, I think her achievements at her age, if we were to talk about her achievements at her age, guys, mm. she deserves, she deserves a lot of respect. She, she hasn't won the World Cup, but she has Mbappe numbers. Mm. Her, her achievements are in line. <laughs> with Mbappe numbers. At her age. Not oh, like oh, goal scoring, yeah? but... She's played at the World Cup. Oh, we Cup. thought you said Mbappe's phone numbers. I oh! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> no, guys. No, I'm just saying. Of stats. The oh, stats okay. were she's played at the World Cup. She's played. Yeah. yeah. I think at the, at so the Olympics So imagine too. a South African A South African player. at mm. her age. Female player. Guys. Statistics compared to Mbappe. Mbappe. Guys, we need... No, she uh, Skudu, you must get on the show, man. You must get on the show. Yeah, and Skudu, I mean, that video, you shot it. I think that's that's another side of your life that people don't know mm, the mean, photography videography let me tell you something so in preparing for the show i google my shots and obviously you with soccer players you tend to think ah, it's going to be just football pictures you know the profile transfer market mm. something happened so linkedin pro his linkedin profile props up yeah <laughs> <laughs> doesn't say soccer player so i'm thinking hi man who's this <laughs> who's this guy drone pilot what motivated the move into photography um i think uh, back in 2017 you know the people around me you know everyone always says you need to have something to fall back on mm. although i've studied i've been studying um done sports science but photography um comes then from it's a passion that I have. I love taking pictures, mm. you know, and I was like, why don't I do a course in photography? Mm. And then, yeah, I followed that. I registered and then I completed a diploma in photography. And recently now I'm a drone pilot. I just obtained my license. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. With um, Drone it's, um They can check it on the website. They offer... Um, courses for pilots mm. and 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 what's the vision for i think it's man it's kudu photography i think you're, i think i've seen pictures of you well what's what, the vision as a company because um soon registering a company we will be doing real estate um we do construction we do you look at Richard. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> actually, 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 I need to say this man is the one who also, you know, upped my profile in terms of construction because he had a project and then he called me to come. <laughs> this man is big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the man is big. Bro. You put me on the man. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's what we do: photography, weddings, security, real estate. Mm. 
construction mm. and yeah mm. well, on that on that note of business uh, you know uh, you've got merchandise that you're selling you've got shoes mm. and clothes where can people get it um we have a shop in Polokwane um Sishiro we soon working on dropping the sh- another one in Pretoria mm-hmm. so yeah they if you are in the Mpopo, just make sure you turn at Sishiro Plaza you will get our shop there Mm. Is the link in the de- <laughs> is <a> link <laughs> is a link that we can put in the description or, or some sort of contact. It will come soon. Very soon we'll be dropping our website and mm. yeah. Yeah. All right. And yeah, we we'll, I think we'll be doing a big disservice uh, if we don't um, ask these questions, uh, you know, for the youngsters that are watching out there. Mm-hmm. You know, um how 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 do we become uh, you know a top flight player in the PSL you know looking at someone that's um, perhaps that's in Sichuan right now um, how d- how do you do that you know how do you, uh, or even someone at a, a much uh, higher level that's about to break into the PSL mm-hmm. how do you you know encourage them not to give up or yeah um uh, what i can say the road to success is a very very tough one a very thin one you know to become a professional it takes emotional psychological physical and otherwise support you need the people around you to always be there for you you know if i have to think about my road it hasn't been easy mm. just to i cannot tell you what to do mm. but i can just tell my story and it can encourage you in some type of a way i don't know mm. just to share a little story i left south africa i got onto a flight i was going to a trial in czech republic i got to germany my passport was turned down mm. i had to turn back fly back i was given a you know when 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 they arrest you what do you call that a docket mm. Mm. to say this person mustn't go beyond this point he has to turn back to south africa my passport was cancelled in front of my eyes cancelled i had to fly back to south africa I was sent back to south africa the team the club that was expecting me i spoke to the agent they had to understand in um, they extended the invite again mm. only to get there you know the relief to say no we want this player this player is exciting we want yeah. him to come the second time everything went well i flew via austria got there i was excited the people were excited to see me the club director took me we went to the stadium we watched the team me watching the team fc carvina was the club mm. watching the team i'm like i'm going to make it i mean yeah. <laughs> yeah. there's no way mm. fine the following day we have to play you know the players that didn't play it's a reserve league like mm. mdc mm. i got on they said hey come play in that game everyone was there to watch me i had a fairly good game mm. my man i had a good game i was like <laughs> it was their first win they registered that season because they've been losing mm. like other teams i won't mention and it's because <laughs> 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 yeah. <But> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow that's a shot yeah. <laughs> but yeah After that I was told this is not the kind of player we're looking for. Mm. I had to check out of the hotel when I was booked for two weeks. I had to just decide and see where I go. Luckily the agent was a local person. Mm. You understand? So I didn't give up. Mind you I had a contract waiting for me in South Africa. I had to abandon that, take the offer to go and play overseas. Mm. On the first day I was told you are not the kind of player we are looking for we are looking for somebody else for something else. Mm-hmm. I had to fly to decide on that they said you can check out of the hotel thank you bye. So oh, is that brutal? Mm. Th- that's the cruel part of that's about f- part of football. Yeah, you understand but to somebody who's watching who's listening I'm saying I could have easily said I'm going back home bye uh, go to my mom's bed and I cry about it but I stood my ground with the faith that God gave me I said I'm going to move on you have to fail in life for you to make it mm. you mm. understand mm. 
you have to fail for you to make it if they if this is not for you keep on knocking on those doors your door will open and mm-hmm. i think that's just the story of my life i keep on knocking and when the door opens hallelujah mm. yeah uh, i was just about to say we're about to close you know uh, so if there are any last words that uh, friday jerry any last comments you want to pick i think um would be doing a great injustice to come to this platform and and not talk about what's a pizza and my latest former coach Kevin Johnson recently achieved um I think it's it's amazing you know it's inspiring um I, it says to us dream beyond borders borders dream beyond measure the sky is not even the limit i mean he was at sky's the limit <laughs> <laughs> but it's not even the limit you know um so yes um congratulations to alakli first as a club um i think they represented africa very well mm. but importantly congratulations to coach pito congratulations to coach kevin um congratulations to musa congratulations to kb um and yeah. i mean uh, yeah. i think i think we should also afford to do the opportunity to yeah. perhaps talk mm-hmm. to no thanks the thanks, thanks. As well. um it's it's you know unfortunate i never got the the chance to work with coach pizzo by the time he came to sunlands i had just left but you know it's one coach that i have great respect for um having worked with coach uh kevin johnson i'm so happy for him and kb we worked together back in in at platinum stars mm-hmm. so very 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 happy for them and it's it's a great experience and a great achievement for them so yeah we are very proud all proud of them including monster yeah and then um just to close give us your top your five aside team my top five aside team you know i didn't i've never mentioned my my my, my, my all time PSL player or uh, top player that I've always liked in South Africa. Kabelo Mahlasela, skipper. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so definitely he's first on my list. It will be Kabelo Mahlasela. It will be Neymar. Listen to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it will be my Kabelo Mahlasela, it will be Neymar. I'll have Jackson in goals. Mabohwan. Yeah. Mm. And then I will have <laughs> uh, okay i'll have chop on bowen and then i will have okay. and then i will have linda mtlalo and then i will have that's why you died that's why that's why oh is that five yeah you said skipper name chopper jackson and linda okay that would be my five Okay, it, let's give you two bench players. You, you, one is you and the last one. It would be me and Junior Khan. <laughs> 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 yeah, ah, any yeah. closing comments, Jerry? Nah, I don't have much to say, but just to thank Matlats for gracing us with his presence. And may you keep being a happy person that you are, my friend. It's good seeing you, man. It's been thank a long you, time. thank you. Thank you very much, my brother. Hopefully and this year we'll... We'll be having good news only, man. This COVID-19 is killing us. Eish, guys, yeah. Yeah, just stay hopefully, safe. Yeah, hopefully you, there'll be something that will come of it that is much positive than the last year. Yeah. Enjoy the rest of the day. Thank Bye. you, guys. Thank yeah. you for having me. And God I really you. appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Uh, and for me, it's my last words to you guys. Thank you guys so much again for being with us. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends, and tell your friends about Beyond the Game. Peace out. We are no.